Hello everyone and welcome to episode 21 of Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved Skyblock with myself Relic Gaming. So at the end of the last episode then we had got ourselves the Blood Altar and we were trying to kill some mobs in order to get some of the blood in there. Well having now gone away and done a little bit of reading up on blood magic it turns out that well certainly in this pack you can't actually get any of the life points from mobs until this has been moved up to a tier two blood altar. And yeah, we're quite away, we're quite away from that. Instead, really, to move this forward, what we've got to do is follow the instructions in the guide, which probably would have been a a better bet to do in the first place anyway, but there we go. And if we can just go back in there. The first thing that it suggests is that we get the sacrificial orb. That's obviously going to allow us to take our own blood. And that's just simply a, I think that's a mana pearl. And also we're going to need to get some blood into our smeltery, which isn't really a problem. Then we need to get ourselves a slate, which is just a bit of arcane stone in the blood altar with a thousand points and so on and so forth. So we are going to follow this through, but we are not going to be doing that in this episode. Because as promised, I kind of want to move on to getting our inventory system sorted out. I feel that that's probably about time for us to do that. And plus we've done a few episodes of the magic mods now, and I really want to get back to doing something more tech based. So then the first thing that we are going to want to do is get some form of storage for our ingots and we're going to use the compacting drawers for that so if we just have a quick look i'll show you the recipe for the compacting drawers and if i could spell it correctly obviously as always that would be a bonus so the compacting drawer is this and it's just a simple case of taking a normal drawer with a bit of stone, some pistons, and an iron ingot. And as we've got quite a few different types of ingots, we are going to make a whole bunch of these things. So let's just check and see what we've got. And as always, we are going to start off with clearing down some of our inventory. But this, I'm kind of thinking, isn't going to be so much of a problem anymore because we're not going to be so worried in future where we throw stuff because it's all going to be part of a network. So I'm just going to go and grab some smooth stone because that was one of the items that we needed. We're also going to need some iron ingots. So we just grab a stack of that. We are going to want some iron ingots, as I just said. We'll just run down here and grab that. And obviously, once we've got this system up and running, we're not going to be able, we're not going to need to go running about like this anymore. We're just going to be able to grab stuff relatively easy. And I don't know where that came from now, but we'll just pop it back there. So we'll grab a stack of iron and then we'll get ourselves back over to here. And we're going to need some redstone. Grab a stack of that. We need some wood for our pistons so i think do you know what let's just grab a stack of that for now and we can always turn that back later we're going to need some cobble so we'll grab a stack of cobble as well and just remind myself now what, what else we needed so in order to get the drawers the compacting drawers we need some normal we need some normal drawers and let's just go and make sure that we remember what we need for a normal set of storage drawers which I couldn't for the moment. So yeah, we just need wood for that. So let's get over to the crafting table and start making up some of this stuff. So first of all, then we are going to need to turn this and turn it all into wood just to make life a little bit easier. I'm going to turn those into chests. So we'll just make eight to start off with. And then we can turn that into the crafting, sorry, into the drawers. And I think I've underestimated the amount of wood 
that I'm going to need for this because now we're going to need wood for the pistons. So let's just go back into compacting drawers. Come back to, I am trying to type a little bit more quietly on this keyboard, but uh, it's it's not really working. So here we go. So we just need some cobble, a bit of iron and some redstone. And we can only make five of those because we've run out of wood. So let's just go and grab some more wood as I thought. So another stack of wood will do. And we'll turn that, or sorry, another stack of logs even. So we'll turn that into wood planks. And now hopefully we'll be able to make a few more pistons because we are going to need 16 in total. And what have I run out of now? In fact, that's, that was enough, but I ran out of something when I was doing that. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It was possibly nothing that I was interested in anyway. And then there we go. There are our eight compacting drawers. So now I should be able to go and put these up here. Now, I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to put these on top just to make life easier. So if you just grab some stone and I can actually get up there and we'll put one there, one there, one there. Can I get up here? No, I can't. So we're gonna need to just jump up again. One there, there and there. <laughs> I'm doing a really bad job of this. Oh, dearie me. Simple, the simple thing of just placing down items. And I think we'll, what we'll probably do is just put the torch above that for now, just to make sure and get rid of that torch. In fact, yeah, as always, there's always a simpler way of doing things. I've placed those a bit funny, but it, it doesn't matter. We're going to make more of them anyway, so we'll just leave those for now. Okay, so let's get rid of these bits of stone. And like so, and so, there we go. Did I pick that up? There we go. And now, when I put the ingots into here, this should now, hopefully, turn into blocks. So what I'm gonna do, in fact, let's just take the iron first of all. That would probably be the most sensible thing that I could do. Let's pop that in there. Yeah, and that's so, what this basically does then, you can see now that those 48 iron have now turned into, you see it in Whaler at the top, into four blocks of iron, four iron ingots, and well, no iron nuggets. But so it's, it's basically compacted them up into the lowest amount first, then the next lowest. And obviously if we had have had like two stacks of ingots, it, it would have compacted them up into blocks first, then, then ingots. So I am going to do the same for all our other ingots so that they are all populated so that when we link this up to the storage drawer system that they'll all go into the correct places and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we've got a bunch more of the compacting drawers up here and I've also populated a load of them with the ingots from the chest over here. And now it's time to link that chest up to the storage drawer system. So we're gonna need a load of transfer pipe to do that. I had a look around beforehand and we hadn't got any, so it's easy enough just to make some of that. So I say, we'll just make a bunch of that. I think it's glass and then redstone in the middle, which it is. As I say, we'll just grab, I think a stack of that will do for now. And we've got ourselves a transfer node. So we'll go and link that up and hopefully it'll just be a simple matter of bringing this along here. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a nightmare because I'm going to have to go around the outside. In fact, if I was just to, we could be quite clever about this. If I was just to put the pipe here, and yeah, I think perhaps one more there. Yeah, then we can take the pipe directly along here to chest. And hopefully that won't cause any problems with the sifting system. 
and then we'll just stick a transfer node on here and now hopefully that is going to be taking that out of there well it's certainly doing something anyway so that now should be going into the storage drawers so let's just have a quick check and see if that number is actually going up and hopefully it's not just getting stuck in the system somewhere so gold is just here and nothing is happening on that just yet but that could be that could well be because it's being interfered with by the sifting system we we may well have to do that on a separate uh, on a separate system yet let's just double check and see what's in the node so yeah it kind of looks as though that might be going it looks as though it might be going somewhere anyway and if we go into the chest it's certainly done it's certainly done something because a load of that has now disappeared from the node let's just have a, a, ch a check in this chest and there isn't any iron in there, e uh, any gold in there either. So I can't get down from here. Right. Hopefully, then that means that that is actually going in there. And there was definitely more than thirty-one. There was definitely more than thirty-one of the gold. I'm just going to let that run for a while anyway, and we'll check back on it. And if it's not going in there, then clearly we'll need to to root it a, another way through okay so now that we've got our storage drawers all sorted out and working we can move on to our logistics system and the first thing that we're going to do is set up the most basic form of this which is going to allow us to grab any item that we want out of here and retrieve it to a single point now it's probably going to be over here near the crafting table for now i think yeah, I'd probably do that, but I mean, obviously we can change that going forward. And then after that sort of set up, any sort of upgrades and improvements to that system, we can just add those on as we go. So in order to start this off, we are going to need a few bits and pieces. And the first thing that we're going to need is the power system for this, because the whole thing is going to need to be powered. And the item that we're going to want is the power junction, which if we just pop into here is this item. Really simple to make. We just need some iron nuggets, a bit of redstone. And that is that. We're also going to need to be able to tap into our existing power source because that block will need to be powered. So if I just find where I put them, I'm going to grab some of the MV wire and the connectors and we'll basically set this up downstairs. And let's just get this. Have we got some redstone? No. Just go and grab some redstone and get that made. At the beginning, certainly, none of these items are particularly expensive to, to make. So it's a it's a pretty good system. And it's kind of like a really light version of an AE network. It's got quite a lot of the same functionality. But for now, there we go. There is our power junction. Now, we're just going to set this up, I think, down here somewhere. Probably just here for now. If I can actually grab it. There we go. So, yeah, just there for now. And hopefully this is compatible with immersive engineering, which it is good and just grab some wire and connect that up to the nearest point which is going to be over here and then that should start grabbing some power which it is now obviously as you can see this takes quite a lot of power to fill up which is kind of suggesting that it's going to be quite heavy on power so we're probably going to need to revise our power system at some point going forward soon but we'll get to that when we get to it so then in order to connect this all up, we're going to need a number of the logistics pipes. And to start off with, we're just going to need the very basic ones. So again, let's just pop into here. And if we just type in pipe, I think maybe that will, will that give us the answer that we need. 
if I, it hasn't changed anything, but we'll just go onto the second page and look at these anyway. So first up then we're going to need some of these basic logistics pipes and these are going to be able to route stuff about. So when we first connect up to the power junction, we use one of these and any intersections in our transport pipe system, we can use one of these as well. And then the transport system or the transport pipes that we'll use are these ones, the unrouted transport pipes. Now, this is compatible with Billcraft pipes as well, but I'm going to kind of stick with the items from the Logistics Pipes mod itself at first. We may change that later on if we find something that works better. And then we're going to kind of need some pipes to actually connect into the storage drawer system. And the pipes that we're going to use for that are the provider pipes. So they'll basically connect directly onto the draw controller. And then finally, we're going to need something to actually request the stuff. And this is going to be this request logistics pipe. And these basic pipes, they're kind of used in a lot of these recipes as well. So they're certainly used in the requester and the provider. And when we get on to doing auto crafting, they're kind of used in there as well. So yeah, we're going to need a few of those. And they are kind of expensive. So they're not too bad. We need some golden chipsets. That's probably the, the most expensive item time-wise because obviously they need to go through the assembly table setup and that isn't really running up at full efficiency yet. And that's certainly something that I am going to want to change soon. But for now, we have sort of done a few of these in between episodes just so it doesn't keep us waiting. And then... We need some diamond transport pipes from Billcraft. They're pretty easy, just a bit of glass and a couple of diamonds. And just some cobblestone ones. And then some hardened glass or looming glass. I'll probably choose the hardened glass just because it's, to me, it's just the easiest thing to do. We just get a little bit of pulverized obsidian and some lead, stuff it into the induction smelter, and that will be that. So... We'll start off then, we'll make a couple of those, well, maybe a sort of handful of those, and we'll also make a load of these things, which are even cheaper. So just some glass panes and some iron ingots and some redstone. And we can get this basically started off. So I am going to go and get some bits from over here first. Now hopefully did do a little bit of prep hopefully it's yeah there we go so we've got some hardened glass already made and i know this is still running but hopefully it has made something for us so that we can start this off and yeah it's made a few of those so that has been running on that for probably about two or three hours now so we definitely need to do something to improve the speed of that and then I think we've really got some redstone, which we have. And I'm just going to remind myself of what else that I needed. Oh, yeah, some diamond transport port pipes. So we just need to grab some diamonds. So let's just run over here, grab some diamonds, and we can get this started. So that's that. And a bit of cobble from here. And as I say, I think I'm just going to start off probably gonna make maybe 10 of those or how many of these we grab no we'll grab we'll grab six of those for now because that's all that we that's all that we grab so we're gonna need 16 of those and then we're gonna need eight of those we'll need we've already got eight of those we just need to grab some redstone torches and the one item that I didn't grab was some wood which I know that we've got an absolute stack of sitting in one of these chests. I thought it was that one, but clearly not. Where did I put the wood now? Uh, I thought I had put it in there, but that's fine. We'll, we'll just grab some more. I had a load from earlier, but I can't remember where I put it now. Right, so let's just turn, grab those out first. Let's turn some of that into wood and just turn it into sticks and hopefully then we can grab 
certainly not the golden bag of holding. We can grab some of this redstone. Let's grab eight of the redstone torches. And we can put together then some of these basic pipes. So in fact, that's made a load more than I needed. Do you know what? Let's just grab 16 of those for now. And let's just store some of this stuff so that we can get on and make the next thing. So don't want that. And we'll lose the diamonds for now. We've got enough glass. I don't think we need to hold all of that glass. I think that we're, yeah, probably that'll do. Right. And yeah, we'll drop that off as well. So let's make some of these unrooted pipes then. Now that's going to be really easy because we've got a ton of this glass, I think. Mm, not really sure how many of these to make. I think we'll stick with a stack of that for now. That'll probably be enough to be fair. And hopefully, in fact, yeah, that's absolutely loads. We will, that, that won't be wasted. We will, we will use all of those. So first of all, then, we are going to need to attach that up to the power system or attach one of the basic pipes up to the power system. And I think we can probably now thinking about how do we want to route this? Cause it's got to go, it's got to go over here. Hmm. Do you know, I'm thinking to myself that I'd quite like this to go under here. But obviously, we haven't got another platform under there and we haven't got a jetpack yet. So it's not going to be as simple as that because otherwise it's going to get quite messy on here. I think what I'm going to do is and potentially I'm just going to I'm just going to extend this platform out a little bit just so that we've got something to work with and it doesn't become all cramped here. So I'm going to do that and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I've got that set up and I also decided to move our um, power junction over here just because it, it was a more sensible thing to do. Just be aware that when you do do that, that you lose all the stored power so it doesn't retain that when you break it down and move it. So then the first thing, like I said, we're going to need to do is just attach a basic, in fact, you need to shift click it on, just attach a basic pipe to that and basically this these pipes if I just put one down here you'll see it's got this sort of like red edges to it and this hasn't so that is basically showing you that, that is powered and working whereas that isn't and then obviously the next thing that you need you're going to need to do is mine up a bit of the floor okay so the next thing then we need to grab some of these unrooted pipes and just basically take that to where you're going to need the power first of all. And this is going to be over here onto our storage drawer. So I'm just going to take out the, uh, the concrete block at the back here and probably going to have to take this up as well. And what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to attach our uh, provider pipe onto here and then the unrooted pipes will come along so what if we take them up first of all to here like so and then these can come along to the edge so that they're not in the way just be careful not to fall off while I'm doing this and one more here and then we'll take those along here and basically all the way along to where the storage or where the draw controller is like so and then this is also going to need to come out to the position where we're going to have our requester pipe now i'm just going to go up here to do this because I've kind of decided not to use the crafting table that we've got over here. We we'll, might as well set up a new system. So we'll just kind of have that here, I think. So we'll probably have the, the crafting system here. So the requester system here. And we can set up a new, a new sort of like crafting table 
right nearby. And if we just say for, for argument's sake now, we can always change this later, but we'll start that off just there. And then now we can go back underneath. Now we know where that's going to come out and we can route the pipes along to that. Hopefully it wasn't too far away, which it wasn't good. And yeah, we'll bring this along from here all the way along like so and it wasn't too far so it's across by two and then along to this is quite slow in actually recognizing that i'm clicking this down for some reason i'm not sure why that is but there we go so that's now that all connected up and then we just need these two two pipes then the provider and the requester pipes and as i say for those, we're going to need some of the basic pipes and just a couple of extra easy bits. So let's start off then with the provider pipe. We are going to need ourselves a gold gear, which I don't remember whether I've got any of those yet, but let's just have a, a, we'll have a quick look for those. And then for this, for the requester pipe, we're going to need an iron gear and a gold gear as well. Or we can use the golden chip set and an iron gear. Now, on the provider pipe did we have that option as well yes we did so we can actually we can use one of the chip sets and a redstone torch which if we haven't got any gold gears will probably be the easier way in fact we haven't got any gold gears but we've got an iron gear do you know, I've changed my mind. I'm actually going to make the gold gear anyway because those chipsets are quite expensive time-wise to make. So let's just grab some gold and stuff that into our smeltery. I was just actually being quite lazy then, thinking that I was going to do it a different way. So there we go. So we want eight of those for the two gold gears. And... Just double check again. Yep, yeah, so one iron gear which we've got and then just some redstone. Cool, so just let that smelt down for a minute. That shouldn't take too long and we'll turn that off straight away. Grab our ingot cast out. We want the gear cast. So we've got the bits that we need. Let's get these two extra bits two extra pipes made so first of all then we want a gold gear an iron gear and one of the basic pipes and that's going to give us the request pipe and then can we just stack those somehow because i need some space let's just drop some of this stuff off again so we don't want any of the glass panes or that or that and then the other pipe was, if I just remind myself, which is the provider pipe, was just this. In fact, we can probably just shift click that in, can we? No, for some reason we can't. Uh, but we'll just stick a basic pipe in there. And there is our provider pipe. So the provider pipe then is going to attach onto the back of the draw controller. So let's just get over there and... Just want to be really careful not to actually put this into the storage drawer itself. And I'm not really 100% sure that we can just shift click this. Can I put this onto the living rock first of all? Hmm. Seemingly I can't because that's now for some reason disappeared. That was not what I wanted. Oh, there we go. Oh, nothing is ever easy, is it? Right, let's can I perhaps just shift click this onto the actual drawer itself. There we go. Excellent. And then, yeah, so then we need to connect that up with some of the unrooted pipe, like so. And that has now changed colour. So that indicates that is now working. And then the final piece of the puzzle here is going to be to get the requester pipe into place. And we've got the place that we want for that already. And that is going to be just here. So just for now, I'm just going to simply attach it onto the 
end of that. Now, in order to request that, oh, sorry, in order to access that, because we can't just access that as it is, it's pretty useless. We are going to require a wrench and it's the wrench, I think it's from, is it from Billcraft? No, it's from Thermal Expansion. We can use that wrench and that's really easy to make. That's just a, a little bit of tin or some iron. So I think actually, yeah, so we just need a bit of tin and some iron. So let's just grab some tin, if I can remember which one of these is tin, silver, iron, tin. Right, so we're going to grab some tin. In fact, we grabbed all the tin, but that's fine. We'll put some of that back. And I thought we had the iron as well, but seemingly not. So we'll grab some iron as well, which is just here. Just get back over here, quickly get one of these wrenches made. So like that, bit of iron in the middle. And there is, say wrench, it's actually called the crescent hammer, but I just call everything a wrench. And then if we right click onto that, we'll then be able to access our system. And as you can see now, that is absolutely everything, which is in our storage drawers. And we can now call any item that we want directly from this. Now, the only thing that I'm noticing is that it's in a bit of a strange order. So the, say for example, the gold bars and the gold blocks are not next to each other. And I'm wondering if that can be sorted somehow. It doesn't seem that it can which by ID, hmm. Okay, well that's a little bit annoying, but there we go, it's kind of all in one place. So say for example, if I wanted some gold ingots, I just click on the gold ingots, and then I just use these buttons down here just to select exactly what I want. So it can either be in single items, in tens or in hundreds. And then we can use these buttons over here if we want to reduce that amount. And then over here, these buttons, this can show us items that we can just craft. Well, we haven't set up any kind of crafting system yet, but we, obviously that's going to be the next step or just the stuff that we can actually get out of drawers. And these buttons down here, I'm not entirely sure what they do. I'm sure we'll find out. But the, the important ones here at the moment for us are going to be this and the request button. So let's say, for example, choose say some gold ingots, we'll choose to, to request, there isn't 15 in there so that it wouldn't like that. We can choose 10 of those. And if we hit the request button, it's gonna tell us that's been successful and this should pop out of here any second. There we go. And there are our 10 ingots, as simple as that. Now, of course, on its own, that hasn't really added much value to our little setup because if we really wanted stuff, we could just pop over here and grab whatever we wanted anyway, easy enough. But where that's really going to sort of come into its own is all these chests that we've got sitting around at the moment with various bits and pieces in that we didn't want to set up storage drawers for. We are now going to be able to link that into the system as well. And we're still going to be able to access that at this single point. So what I'm going to do in between episodes is all these various drawers that we've just got sitting around in the middle. I am going to move those all over into, into these spaces at the edges, I think, probably there. We'll connect those up with some pipes and then... Basically, what we're going to be able to do is these drawers, it's not really, so I'm not really going to have to worry anymore about just putting stuff into a certain place because, as I say, it's all going to be linked up and we'll just be able to access it at the at this point here. Now, the last thing I'm going to do before we wrap up this episode then is I'm just going to make a little bit of a chest because be nice if it was just collected in the chest rather than dumping stuff off of the floor when you request stuff and as we've got the materials we're probably going to make one of the better chests so just get into into here 
It will make one of these crystal chests, which is a diamond chest surrounded by some glass, which is just diamonds and a bit more glass around a gold chest, which is gold plates around an iron chest and so on and so forth. So let's grab ourselves some wood, which as always is probably going to take me a few attempts to find. And you know what? We'll just use some of that for now. Like I said, this is, uh, and we'll grab those plates as well, because I know that we're going to need those while we're over here. This is hopefully going to be a thing of the past, having to just hunt around for items like this. So we'll make ourselves a chest, and then we'll grab that chest, and we'll just surround that with plates. And then we need to grab ourselves some gold plates, which hopefully can find relatively easy I thought I'd seen one in one of these bottom chests and so not quite enough and I think there's some in the metal former which there is oh, just enough so <laughs> we'll head back over to I honestly didn't plan that we're just gonna head over here to the crafting table then and that in there and then we're just going to need to grab ourselves some glass and some diamonds which we can just grab from over here like so and first of all then we'll turn that into a diamond chest with diamonds here and glass there and then turn the diamond chest into a crystal chest by surrounding that with glass and there we go So we can just pop that down over here next to the requester pipe. And then if we go into our requesting system, we can just say select whatever. We'll select to pull out one of those. And that tells us it's been successful. And then hopefully that's going to pop into there like so. And there we go. So that is all up and running. As I say, in the next episode, we're going to look at taking this a step further where we'll set up some auto crafting. But until then, thanks ever so much for watching, guys. As I say, I am going to wrap the episode up there. If you've liked the video, drop us a like. That is always appreciated. And until next time, take care. Bye.